good hello everyone my name is Nathan Orlando Frost welcome back to another destiny video here today we are playing today guys the daily we're gonna be we're gonna be doing the daily basically I just want to uh, do some of the bounties here as well uh, but there should be I think only one actual bounty that we can do and that's this one right here which is uh, defeating hive on any destination we can definitely do that one if there's any fallen obviously we can include that as well uh, we also have to do Mars for some Olympus tiers uh, if we do have time we'll definitely get to that but let's go ahead and start up the world's grave this is the daily heroic today guys uh, you get ascendant material script archangram helium filaments and vanguard marks so let's go ahead let's launch it up level 30 uh, this is the daily oceans of storm moon everybody who doesn't have the DLC can obviously still do this so uh, you know, if you don't have the DLC, if you don't have the Dark Below, definitely go check out the Daily today. Uh, it's, it'll be one of the things you can do throughout the entire week. Ugh, man. It really did screw up everybody, though, with taking that Nightfall and Weekly and putting it as the new strike. That just, uh, it, it, you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of sad, to be honest, for those people who didn't buy the DLC or anything like that. They can't do Nightfall or Weekly. Uh, but tomorrow, obviously, is the Weekly Reset. Uh, for Destiny, and there's obviously going to be a new Nightfall and a new Weekly, and I believe this time it's going to be Valis to Ark. Uh, last week was supposed to be Valis to Ark in the normal rotation, but they decided to put the new strike instead, so I'm guessing this week will be Valis to Ark, and next week Archon Priest, and so on and so on. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it, guys. That'll be it. So... Let's go now into the Hive Fortress. Uh, this is actually one of the... This is actually the mission... Uh, I did for doing the Urn of Sacrifice from Xur, that bounty, uh, from Eris. Uh, this is the mission I used to actually get my Cursed Thrall melee kills. This is the mission that I used right here because there's actually Cursed Thralls coming up. And then you melee him, pick up the thing, and then go to orbit. And then you come back in and basically do the same thing over and over again. So as you guys may or may not know right now, I am playing on my Titan. I haven't gotten my Titan yet to level 30, but he's very, very close. I have the armor for him. I just got to get it upgraded. Obviously, I have the Helm of Saint 14 right here. Uh, this one is maxed out. So, uh, yeah, I put that on, obviously. But I'm I'm trying to rank up the Insurmountable Scarf, Skull Fort. Sorry. I might be able to get that to level 30. I, I might be able to get to level 31 with this. As soon as I rank up this chest piece, as soon as I rank up the armor some more, uh, I can definitely start. And for that chest piece, I need helium filaments. And I believe, actually, I need helium filaments for the exotic helmet that I got, too. But not too sure on that one. I do hope he sells an upgrade this week for Helm of Saint-14. That would be fucking awesome. Uh, and by he, I mean... I, I mean Zer. So, yeah. I'm honestly... I'm hoping, like I said, that he sells the upgrade for the Helm of Saint-14. It's definitely my favorite exotic for the Titan... I run Defender Bubble all the time, and I always run Weapons of Light or Blessing of Light. Depends on what I feel like doing, and depends on what I'm playing. If, for example, I am doing Crota's End Raid, I would be running the Blessing of Light. Especially when you get to Crota, and obviously uh, the presence of Crota obviously doesn't let you regenerate your health. Uh, that bubble with Blessing of Light is very, very useful. And I mean very, very useful. Uh, yeah, especially when, like I said, you get to Crota and stuff like that. Hopefully this wizard doesn't regenerate health. There we go. Right, I, I believe Light Switch is on in this mission, too. Uh, there was a daily a little while back. Um, a couple days ago, actually. It was the new mission. It, uh, it was when you had to destroy, uh, the crystal. I, I, I forget what mission it's called, but you had to destroy Crota's crystal. Uh, like his, his soul, basically. Uh, I believe it's like the War Mind. No, I th I th no, actually, I think that's the Earth mission. Uh, it's not the War Mind, but it is something similar. It's one of the new missions here on Moon. And anyways, Light Switch was on at the time for the daily, and it was just so fucking hard because there was Knights, there was Ultra Knights, there was you know all the Majors, you know stuff like that, and all the Thralls could like one hit you or two hit you, depending on what level you are, of course. If you're level 30, it would be a two hit for those Thralls. Uh, if you're level 29, they would definitely one-hit you because they took down my shield. Uh, so yeah, I'm using the thorn, as you guys may or may not see right now. Uh, hopefully you do, or you've got some eye problems. Uh, but yeah, the thorn has actually been doing very, very good. And i got to watch myself right now because I'm level 29, and this mission does have light switch on. So 
This could be definitely dangerous. I gotta take down this wizard. He keeps regening his shield before I can put damage on him, damn it. Come on. That's not gonna do anything. Damn it, man. There, I should be able to take down this... Oh, fuck. There we go. Alright, I got it. Man, this is tough. I'll tell you that much. This is tough. There we go. And we gotta watch out for these purple things here. Let's not die from them. I think we did get away from him, so that's good. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead. I forget exactly what we have to face at the end of this. Is near. It's, it's probably powerful. some sort of boss, right? I, I, at least I would have thought, I would fucking assume that it is. I know I played this mission before. I played the entire campaign about three times. I just, it's hard to remember each individual mission. Alright, find the knight. Easy enough, right? Damn, this Acolyte right now. Oh my god, fuck. Whoa! Whoa, man! Alright, well. What exactly am I supposed to do when I get in there? Is my question, you know what I mean? I love using this thorn, man. I love it. It's just like a, it's a hive theme hand cannon, basically. And it's just so damn cool looking. Not only that, though, not only is it just so damn cool looking, it's just, it's actually really good now, especially after the buff. Uh, the, the, if you guys don't know, this thing did get a buff in the last patch for this game, which obviously came out before the Dark Below uh, last Monday. Oh my god, this wizard is fucking me up. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna have to pop weapons of light, or I'm gonna die. Damn, dude. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Nice. This is the key to the grave. I know where we're headed. I better watch out here. Oh my god. This wizard. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here fast. Holy sweet Jesus, man. This is difficult. Anyways, uh, this part coming up right here when we have to find the world's grave. Right to the grave. The world's grave, not the ours. World's grave. Not ours. See, I told you I played the campaign. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but yeah, this place up here, if you guys are interested in doing that... Uh, the bounty for Eris, the quest basically for the uh, urn of sacrifice. The second step is to kill cursed thrall, which are the ones that blow up uh, with your melee attack and pick up what they drop. And this is the place I use to do it. So I usually came down here. I killed every every single chosen thrall here. And then what I would do is melee this cursed thrall. I would back up. I would pick it up and then so on and so on, and then there's another curse thrall right around this corner, I would melee it, and make sure your health is regen, and then pick up that thing, and then so on and so on, like I said. Uh, and then after those two are dead, you do not proceed, basically, just go to orbit, and then come back in, you'll have the same checkpoint. Just do it over and over again, just make sure you don't die, obviously, that's the key. Uh, so we do have a chosen knight here. I'm just glad he's not level 32, like in the fucking raid, man. Ugh, those things are a bastard. They're really not that hard, though. I mean, I uh, I got Crota's end, like, the, the end part of the raid now down pat. You know what I mean? Like, I know exactly what to do. I know exactly how to beat him. I just haven't done it yet. You know what I mean? Like, I, uh, I know exactly uh, what strategy I use. You know, there's actually a pretty good strategy for beating Crota. It's just... It, it's pretty hard, nonetheless. I... I, I think, personally, it's easy, if you guys know what I mean. Like, it's easy as fuck, I just have yet to done it. 
uh, or do it, not done it, that kind of stupid talk. Uh, but if you guys know what I mean, uh, like sometimes you find something really, really easy, uh, but you know, something's just going wrong pretty much every time to make it not happen, really, you know what I mean? Like it's not so hard that I can't do it, I know I can do it, it's just a matter of you know, sticking with it with a good, reliable team and, you know, actually succeeding at it. I'm about to die from this fucking knight here because I can't shoot him. What an asshole. Dead as hell. So this is the end part of it. So this does get pretty hectic, so I will pop weapons of light here. I'll definitely do that. That would definitely be useful. Well, let's, reload he let's reload Hez and Vengeance right now. I really want to get that raid done though. I have the Crota checkpoint on my Warlock, so I do want to get it done before the reset tomorrow. So hopefully I will be able to uh, tonight or, you know, something like that. I, I hope I will, honestly. I really do. Fuck, man. Fuck off. Ooh, man, those knights, dude. Those knights. Good God. Ah, fuck. There we go, we did get that done. God, this knight is just being such an asshole. No! Ow, oh, son of a bitch. I keep forgetting I don't have Helm of Saint-14 on. If you guys don't know, Helm of Saint-14 uh, allows for the Ward of Dawn, which is that bubble if you guys are not a Titan expert. Uh, that bubble is basically when people... When enemies enter it, basically, uh, they go blind. You know, they can't see anything. They're just blind as hell. Kind of like a flashbang grenade for the Striker Titan. Uh, they get that sort of blind, and they roam around like that. And they don't hit you inside the bubble, unless they're lucky enough to obviously swing at you. Uh, but obviously, I have the insurmountable skull for it on right now, because it does have more light than my uh, Saint-14. So I'm just trying to level it up, really. You know what I mean? Like, I would be using Saint-14, but... Uh, the XP bonus for this daily would actually level it up quite a bit, so that's what I'm gonna do. If it does, if it does get to it though, I will, uh, I will switch to Saint 14 though, so I can absolutely beat this thing. I don't think I need to though. I, I, I'm just gonna have to be a little more careful, especially with this fucking wizard being an asshole. Ah, fuck. There we go, there we go. There we go. Oh, come on. Stay alive. Don't get shot. There we go. I want my super right now just so I can be a little safe. That's what I want to be in right now. Just hoping to get this Ward of Dawn bubble up as fast as I possibly can here. Before. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. No! No, 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 no! No. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous, dude. I had to reload this thorn here. No, 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 no. no. Oh my god, this is scaring the shit out of me right now, I'll tell you that much. If y'all want my honest opinion, this is scaring the shit out of me. It's like I'm level 29 too, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's making it that much more difficult. Now I am one-hitting shit pretty well here, that's the thing.
There we go. Knights did. Come on. Don't fuck me now. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Damn, that acolyte was just sponging. There we go. <laughs> oh man, that was difficult. Okay, I've got it all. A little more difficult than I w was expecting, in all honesty. I, I, I guess it's probably that it's level 30 now. I'm so used to the dailies being level 28 and kind of just running in here no matter of what and just fucking shit up. But those thralls that were swarming me, man, especially with that light switch enabled, that shit was, uh, that shit was a killer. You guys know what I mean, so... Uh, yeah, nonetheless, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, feel free to hit the video up with a like, uh, share it with your friends. Tell me in the comment section below what else you guys want to see from us, uh, or from us, from me. I don't, there's no one else running this channel. What the fuck am I talking about? Uh, but yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing anything else from me, uh, definitely, like I said, leave it in the comment section. Uh, and that's pretty much it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the daily. That's how you do the daily on level 30. So there you go. I was a level 29, so it was even a little more difficult. Uh, than it should be, or that it could be, rather. Because uh, obviously you, you can get that shit done when you're level 30 pretty easily. But that was level 29, so that was a little more difficult than normal. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you needed that tutorial or anything, hopefully that helped you. And I'll see you on the next video. Alright guys, until next time, peace out.